What does MIDI look like in Pro Tools and how does it work? And what about the different track types that you can use for MIDI recording, editing and playback? Okay, so although Pro Tools is obviously very well known for its ability to record, edit, mix, master, audio, um, it also has a fully featured built-in MIDI sequencer that lets you record, edit and playback MIDI. Okay, now this is what MIDI looks like in the edit window. And here's some playing back right now. So I've got a variety of tracks of different types. We'll talk about that in a moment. You can also, of course, mix those sounds using the tracks in the mixer. Okay, so those different track types then, well, there's basically two different track types you can use for MIDI in Pro Tools. One is the MIDI track and the other is the instrument track. A MIDI track is the kind of track you would use if you're using external MIDI equipment to make the sound. And essentially what happens is the MIDI is routed into Pro Tools and captured there where you can edit it. It's played back and the MIDI goes back out of Pro Tools to your external MIDI equipment to trigger it and that's what makes the sound. If you're going to use built-in software instruments, RTAS plugins, um, then you need to use an instrument track. And what they do is route incoming MIDI from your MIDI controller keyboard directly to the software instrument in Pro Tools, which makes that whole process of recording with MIDI much more simple. Okay, so that's a, a brief overview of MIDI and Pro Tools and the different track types that you can use.